Welcome back to the cabin. Dinky do, dinky do, everybody. Now, I turned 50 the other day. Thank you very much for everybody who sent messages on social media. And also, I've received a lot of personal private messages through Messenger and things like that. And emails off people writing to me. So, thank you so much as well. You're very, very kind. It is, it is much appreciated. Do you know, I've told everybody for years that I'm 62. Honestly. And, but I don't look 50, I look a lot older than 50, everybody says that. But I tell you what a lot of people have said as well, that they look like I've lost weight. My face is a bit more inward now, if that makes any sense. <laughs> inward, whatever that means. So, but I have, I've lost a lot of weight, but that's probably down to my stomach complaint, because I'm not eating nowhere near as much. Now, now I've rabbiting on about my health. Now I've hit 50, I can moan about my health a lot more. Now, before we start me getting into the video, I'm going to be doing a product review. Oh no, he's off again a product review. Oh no. No, you're going to like this product review. It's a good, good bit of kit, this product review. And I would recommend this product to anybody. Now, before we start, let me just clear up with you. I don't get paid for this product review. All the product reviews I get, one or two I get paid, and I do clearly state that. But majority of them I don't get paid for. All I do is get to keep the item, and that's if I give it a good review or a bad review. But I have said to all the companies that if I'm doing these product reviews, then I'm being totally honest. If I don't like the product, I'll either say I don't like it, or I'll just refuse to do the product review, and they can they can either either I'll get rid of it, or they can come and collect it and take it back. So. So, I'm going to do a product review in a minute, but before we start this product review, I'm going to tell you something now. I had an item sent to me about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, and I'm not going to say what the item is, right, because I'm not going to blacken the name of the company, but this item, in the instructions, it said three easy steps to put it together. Anyway, I'm not kidding you on, two and a half hours later, I'm still putting it together, honestly. Honestly, and when it was all together, I looked at it and I thought, I don't plug this in, it don't feel safe to me. And I didn't plug it in, and I emailed the company, and I said, look, I'm not going to blacken your name. I'm, I'm not going to show this, I'm not going to film and show a product review on this item because I don't feel it's a safe item. I says, it might be me just thinking that, but I don't feel safe and comfortable recommending this product to other people. So I says, I will keep it here, I'll put it in storage, but if you want it at any point, you can come and collect it. Either that or in a few months, I'll get rid of it myself. And I've not heard nothing back off them yet. So, but no, so I'm not going to blacken the name. I'm not going to say what type of item it was, but honestly, no. So you can see how honest I am. That That's on its way back or it's going in the wheelie bin. <laughs> so, so listen, I'm going to do the product review now and I'll see you at the end. And I'll have a natter with you. I've got something to show you, and I'll let you jump into the video. Hi, welcome back to the cabin. Uh, I've been asked to do a product review, well, an honest product review. Like I've said before, all product reviews are honest product reviews. If I don't like the product, I will state that, or I'll just refuse to do the product review altogether for the company. Now, this product review is the Jackery and it's the solar generator and it's the Explorer 1000. I can see the writing at the back, that's why I'm moving back a bit. I've had this for about three weeks. I really like it, I'm using it all the time. Because as you know, we live off grid at the cabin, so I go use quite a lot of power stations every day. So the solar charges them all up and if we have bad weather, which we've had a lot of bad weather lately, we've had no sun for weeks then obviously we use the generator and it powers them all up and then we last two or three days when everything's fully charged so what they've sent me out to do an honest review on is the power station and the set of solar panels the solar panels very easily go up I have no issues with them at all whatsoever the power station I do like as well now while I'm talking away to you I'm going to plug some stuff in and let you see how it's working okay it just so happens I have a toaster on hand <laughs> as you do so I can move this around a little bit so I can get this toaster on right let's plug the toaster in right and AC 
Right, the toast is plugged in. So hopefully we're going to have some toast. Fill the heat off it. So as you can see, it's powering now. It's using 756 watts. You can see that, hopefully you can see that clearly. And it's 92% power. Now with this power station, you've got two sockets. They can peak at 1500 watts, the pure shine. You get a lot, there's a light with it as well with two, two levels with it. And then I think that's Morse code. I'm not quite sure, I think so. And then there is the uh, DC outlets. There's one USB-C and then there is, I can't see with my eyes, it's probably two USB-Cs and then a USB normal. And then there's your DC output. There's also a connector on the side to put the um, mains electric in, which again I've been charged, because I don't have mains power here, then I plug that in and then I plug that into an extension leader that goes all the way to the generator. So, let's see if we can go back a bit. Ah, it's better, you can see me now. So, so that's in, and then there's two ports on the side, which see if I can show you. Right, there is the mains, and then there's two ports for your solar on the sides if you wanted to have two lots of solar panels. I'm going to show you the solar panels fully put together in a bit. Again, you can, I can smell the toast, it smells lovely actually. It does, it smells nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make toast, and then I'm going to start plugging a few other things in as well. So I will catch you in a minute. The toast is nearly ready, it's going to click off any second. And then what we'll do is we'll put a coffee on, here we go, we are, some toast, that's it. Now what I'm going to do is, we'll move this bit away now, and if I just move this here, then at the back you can see the coffee machine, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to plug an extension in, there, which will go to this and then what I'm going to do is this light should go out now yeah plug that in and put these lights on again I know I'm moving around a lot I'm sorry for that but I'm trying to show you everything and I will turn the coffee machine on so the coffee machine is coming on in the background all the way over there you should be able to see it flashing You'll hear it kick in. Toast. Nice. Not one for dry toast, but I enjoyed that. As you can hear, that's kicking in, so the coffee's going. So I'll grab my coffee, I'll be back in a sec. And we've got a coffee as well. So we've got coffee and, to and toast. You might see the smoke. You might see the smoke coming off that coffee. Now what I'm also going to do is I am going to plug in the fridge and the freezer. So as you can see, the lights on now. That that will go off any second. See that's gone off. And then I will plug it into the extension. Yeah, you'll see that's powered on now. So that is powered on now. So that is powering the fridge and also the fridge freezer and also the freezer in the corner. Now what I was going to do to finish on was to plug in this, these uh, power packs. Now the reason I'm plugging power packs in, I've said this before in the videos, I don't have any mains power, power tools. They're all cordless power tools we're living off grid. So I've always just done that. I've gone over to power packs. So what I'll do is I'll plug this in there and as you can see you can see that lit up green so what I'll do is I'll put these on that's that so as you can see everything's powered now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you more detailed information that the company sent out for me to show you I'm going to add that in a sec and then I will see you in a minute and I will see you 
I'll show you the solar panel setup as well. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute. Now, as you can see, we've had a bit of sunlight, not a lot. So what I do is, there's a bit of a shadow on the solar panel, as you can see, but there's nowhere else I can put it with the sun being so low. So what I've done is I've plugged the solar panel in and I've plugged it into the inverter. And hopefully you can see that. So as you can see there, it says 11 watts input. So that's off the solar. It's sat at 83%. So what I'll do is I'll take this out and you'll see that go off. There, yeah, that goes off. And then I'll plug it in again. There, 9, 10 watts. So it's charging up. Now, as you can see, that flashing Wi-Fi symbol flashing, you can actually download the Jackery app and you can control it through the app. Now also, what's interesting is with your power cable for your solar, there's also a USB connector and a USB-C as well, so you can take power directly to that to power other things as well. So that's a Jackery, so, and that's your solar panel. It's a 100 watt solar panel. This is a Jackery Explorer 1000 power station and 100 watt solar panel. It's not 100% charge up in one hour. You can power a microwave, coffee maker, ice maker, heated throw, projector, drone. All information is in the description below. So this has been an honest product review. I do like the item. I really do like it. I will be keeping it and I like it. I do honestly, I do like it. It's Jackery, so it's a good make. It's a good solid thing. You see, for me, it's like here at the cabin, I use big power stations because I use a lot of power, like running the fridge, the freezers, the TVs, internets, and all stuff like because we have Starlink. Now, for me, this is perfect for if you, when you're on the go. Say you're wanting to go camping, or you've got a motorhome, or you're just wanting to do day excursions to the coast, or things like that, and you're going to need a bit of power to either plug in a kettle or have a grit, take your grit, electric grill with you, cook some food, lights, everything on the beach, the lot. This is the ticket. This is the ticket, and I'm not joking here. It's also good to have as backup power as well. So if one of my little port portable power stations goes down for the TV, I'll be plugging this straight in. It'll last for hours and hours and hours. I also power up the iPads, my laptop, everything. I've got an iMac as well, so I've had all that on with this as well. It is a really good bit of kit. I only recommend stuff that's of a good quality. These solar panels are good quality. Right? I've showed you where it's been on charge. I think it was doing about 10, 11 watts. It doesn't show, that isn't a lot, no it's not, but it has been a very, very bad weather for the last two or three weeks. We've not had much sun, I've struggled to film with the with the sol, uh, solar panel to be honest. But again, in summer when you're out, it's going to be red hot, straight away it'll power in here. Plus the adapter's got a USB-C and a USB connector on as well, so you can take more power off it direct from the solar and also off this. Again, if you download the app, <coughs> sorry, if you download the app, you can control this through the app as well. So, honestly, it's a great bit of kit. Now, just as a disclaimer, I don't get any money. It's not a paid product review. Again, it's an honest, honest product review, what I think to it. Uh, I don't get no commission or anything. Uh, but this is on offer at Jackery for the Black Friday deals. Also, going up to Christmas, there'll be deals as well. But your best deal is probably Black Friday. So, if I were you, get one. Buy one when you can, that's what I say. Because now's the time to buy it. And Jackery is a good name as well. Right. So, what I'll do is I'll see you in a minute, a bit further in the video. Dinky do, I hope you enjoyed that product review. So, like I say, all the information for that product re review is in the description below. So, if I can get any further discount codes, which I don't know if I can or not, then I will try. But it is on offer anyway through Black Friday and going up to Christmas. And they always have offers on anyway. Now, it was my birthday the other day. I turned 50 and I did a video saying it was my birthday and I turned 50. 
But I, I, I can't believe I made it to 50, honestly. Honestly, I can't believe it. I'm absolutely over the moon. Could be if I can zoom in a little, a little bit. Oh, that's better. That's better. Now, I've got some birthday cards, so I want to show the birthday cards I've got. I'm not going to show the write-ups in them, because that's personal, that. So I've got Uncle Coolest Old Person I Know. Now, that is off uh, Thomas, Hannah and James, my nieces and nephews. And then, you may be 50 today. That's that one. And this one is off Stuart and our Julie. And then I've got a lovely card here. That's lovely, that card. Thank you very much. And that's off Lindsay and Jeff. So thank you so much for that. And then I've got another card here. And this card is off my stepmom and my dad. So thank you very much. And then this card here as well. This card is from Jackie. So thank you very much, Jackie. And this card. Oh, now look at this card there. Eh? Sorry I'm late for your birthday, right? Now this is off my friend Donna and off a little daughter called Evie, right? They're lovely, right? Look at this. Don't, don't tell Kev, because they'll be after something. I've not told him I've got this. <laughs> I'm sly to Kev, honestly. Look at this, got some cakey. Cakey, eh? But don't tell Kev, he don't know. Because they'll be after some of this. You know he's like where cakes come turn. Right, so that's about everything. So thank you so much for tuning in. There'll be a video next Sunday as normal. Uh, I might do one midweek again. I'm not quite sure. I've quite enjoyed doing the midweek ones. And I'll see you next time. Back down at the cabin. Dinky-doo. Stay safe, stay well. Love you.